People are driven to pay attention to any sort of movement. Motion is a characteristic our mind processes pre-attentively. That is, without effortfully directing attention to that object. This stems from our prehistoric days, when paying attention to anything moving was a major survival mechanism. If we couldn't detect motion immediately and react, we'd end up being dinner. When we're designing animations, it's important we match how attention-grabbing the motion is to the object's level of importance to the user. Animations that have a large shift in position, gain speed, or seem to be self-propelled rather than merely reacting to some other action are the most attention-grabbing and especially when this occurs near the periphery of the screen. So this means those toast notifications, uh, pop-up chatbot help windows, or back to top buttons that slide up from the bottom of the screen are all things that users would notice pre-attentively, meaning it would be directing their attention away from their task. So when designing, consider whether an object is worthy of distracting the user. A notification about something important might be worth it, but that back to top button really isn't. So slow transitions, animations that don't change position, but simply fade in or out in the same spot, those are less likely to cause a shift in attention and are thus less distracting. These slow animations are more appropriate for anything that's only indirectly triggered by the user like having that back to top button made available when scrolling down the page. Animations can quickly shift from helpful to annoying. So be sure you choose the most appropriate type of movement based on the context and user goals.